and also um, it's a combination and a duality between that Afrophobic, xenophobic hate as well. She talk, she say Afrophobic and black xenophobic. So, my friend, I don't know if you're a woman or a man, when you say everybody is jumping on the bandwagon, letiti motiti, as the gendered nuance, um, the fact that I'm not jumping, I denounce, which is very much normal, because in my own country, I denounce, I'm not a follower, I'm a free thinker. When I say something is wrong somewhere, even in my own country, there is a movement that happened in my country. I do not follow it until I'm pretty, I will be sure of what is happening now. I am not a jump wagon. I forbid you to think that I am a jump wagon because my environment has never taught me to be a jump wagon. I've learned to think on my own. Usually, African people don't like Okay, when people are thinking on their own, we see it everywhere in our habit, even at church. That's why anybody can come and create a group or guru or sect because people like to jump wagon. Me, even at church, I take time to read my Bible again, okay, or to do to review what the person say. I'm not a jump wagon person. Now, is South Africa a xenophobic country? Yes. Um, we have proof here. We have proof here. And, I mean, you know, you can say anything you want, okay? Um, xenophobia is really easy. You just block like that. When it happened, uh, people, me, I was shocked. I was shocked. You see all the image here. I will put, I will just click one of them just like that. The film Fabians in South Africa. Let's go and see what they say. Seems to be spreading among foreign nationals here. In Jamiston, east of Johannesburg, most shopkeepers from countries like Ethiopia, Somalia, and other parts of Africa have closed their businesses in anticipation of looting. As you can see here, the police are protecting properties, businesses, shops that belong to African migrants. They said that they were attacked last night precisely because they are not South Africans. I'm worried. I'm scared. I don't know how to protect myself because most, most of us here, we are citizens already. At least five people were killed, including two South Africans, since the violence began last week. Some people were burned. We were shocked around the world. Nine years ago, we were shocked around the world. And truly, when I heard xenophobic, I thought it was from for a white international. No. When I saw they were Africans, I was shocked. I said, it's impossible. I have to Google and see if it's true. And it was true. So tell me now, how am I jump wagging, bang wagging, whatever you call me, the multiti, whatever you call me, that I'm jump wagging and whatever? How? When the facts are here, what the girls went through, okay, was unacceptable. What this young Nigerian girl went through, she was born in South Africa for 20 something years. She only knew that country. You rejected her, that's fine. Nigeria took her back. But then, even there, you were still after her. Why, in the meantime, two farmers, white farmers, killed, and it was everywhere in the news. Two white farmers killed. Two black South Africans who are looking for food. Looking for food in... We are not developed, okay? We have not developed African, African people like you call... Oh, you are not developed. Okay, we are not developed country, but how? <laughs> now, two white farmers. Let's, let's see it. Mm -hmm. A is a scene of a criminal investigation. Two women were shot and killed and their remains allegedly thrown inside a pig's enclosure. One man was shot and wounded. According to the National Prosecuting Authority, the pigs started consuming the remains of the victims. A mother of four children had her life cut short in a gruesome manner. Maria Makata's home is situated less than 10 kilometers from the pig farm where her life ended. Her remains and those of Kudzai Ndlovu 
were discovered in a state of decomposition by the police on Tuesday. Their bodies had been reportedly thrown inside a pig's enclosure. The two were shot and killed, allegedly by the farm owner and two other suspects aged 19 and 42. Makato was reported missing after visiting the pig farm. Concerned, the family traced her to the farm. However, they were not provided with helpful information. Now, imagine it happened, people found it. Did that happen before? We don't know. But in the same, we are only 12 days ago, right? In the same times, all the energy of the country were after the little Nigerian. So let's see a little bit because the way you make us feel like Nigeria is the end of the past because we see what you write. We see. And so then say, oh, kick them out. Keep this Nigeria out of your country. Da, da, da. You say that. I went online because I don't do stuff. Like I say, I don't jump wide and I do my research. Okay. According to AfricaReport.com, Nigeria relationship with South Africa dates back to the apartheid, or apartheid, I don't know how you say that, era, when the former played a prominent role in the latest decolonization. The March 1960 Sheffield massacre provided Nigeria an opportunity to launch its anti-apartheid campaign. Now wait, what did Nigeria do for South Africa? Let's see. During the apartheid era in South Africa, Nigeria was one of the former supporters of anti-apartheid movement, including the African National Congress. Nigerian government issued more than 300 passports to South Africans seeking to travel abroad today. I see that people in South Africa now say to the girl, give us back our passport, the Nigerian girl. You know why why people, we always, I say that until we change our mindset, huh? because we forget to, we forget too fast. Huh? They have what uh, in France they call the D-Day, okay? The D, they call it the D Day um, anniversary, which is a commemoration in Normandy. Normandy is a town, we say, in France. But what Normandy is really known? Normandy is really known for the place where American troops first came, first coast, okay, for to enter the war. I can say that they came to the rescue of the French troops. Okay, for, to France. So France doesn't forget this part of the history. They always commemorate with, uh, if you see sometimes, um, England, the English, the American and the French, they don't forget. That's why I say they commemorate. That's why I say in Africa, we are not going to go further if we, don't, if we don't change the way we are, our mentality. So if I'm jumping, no, it's because there are so many things that have been proven. If your f brother, if your sister, if your friend tell you something that ah, what you're doing is wrong, and you still feel like, mm -mm, sorry, history has shown so many things, and I, not, I never wish to country something wrong or never, because in my country we have learned. The country next to us. Um, 